Hi everyone and welcome to our tutorial on how to organize your computer. Now it may seem like a little bit of a simple thing or, or it may seem like, well why would I need to watch this video? What is he going to really tell me, right? Well if you're like us and you have a scad of things in your computer, uh, especially when you're downloading kits from, from stuff like us, from Nitwit Collections, for those of you who have been around a while, you have a collection of several kits and you probably are thinking, okay, well, I'm looking for this paper, I'm looking for this element, and how do I find those things? And, and can I make this easier for myself, you know, just to, to, to navigate through my computer and always come up with things? So I thought I would do this quick video. I know that there's been a lot of people that have asked and, and said, well, how do you, you know, what do you do with the folders and what do you do with this and what do you do with that? So I thought I'd do a quick video about it. So let's get to it. Basically, when you get into your computer, let's just click this off and click it back on for you here. When you click into your computer, you're going to have, uh, you can see down the side here, I've got different hard drives and these are my CD drives, you know, that kind of stuff. But when you click in, if you think of your computer like a filing cabinet, that's the easiest way of doing it. So when I call it up, it shows me all of the, the different drives. Now, these are ones that I share with Mary Fran, so that's how come we have so many here. But um, when you click in, let me just go to one in my in my computer. Here is your, basically, I, I create folders. So again, thinking of it like a, like a filing cabinet, an old school filing cabinet. When you're going to file away your phone bill or your power bill or whatever it is, you have a, you make a folder for it. And how do I do that? Well, when you've clicked on your uh, Windows Explorer, which is clicking on your little folder down there, and you can do the same thing in Mac. Uh, you can click on Finder, and then you can get into an area that looks exactly like this. There is a, as you'll see where my cursor is up in the top left here, it says create a new folder. So when you click on it, it brings up a new folder and it says, what do you want to call it? So as an example, if let's just talk specifically about saving all the kits that you download from us. If you created a folder and called it Nitwit Collections, okay, and you press enter, there it is. Now you have a folder called Nitwit Collections. When you click in it, obviously I have nothing in there, but you can move things in there. So that way, any of the kits you buy from us, let's just use an example of the last one we had, Christmas Romance. Say you had bought Christmas Romance. Well, you can go down and you can put anything you want in there in terms of these files. Um, so when you save, uh, for as an example, you are going to download from our store, and even when you download it, if you're using Firefox as your browser, it will let you automatically uh, choose where to download so you can place it right in this folder. But if you're using any of the other internet browsers, it automatically takes you into your downloads folder. So if I click on my downloads folder, you'll see I got all kinds of garbage in here. But what you can do is, I'll show you another little trick here is we have this window up and this is by when you press on the folder button on your on your desktop or on your taskbar on the bottom when you're using a Windows computer if you push down and hold your shift key and at the same time click on that folder icon it brings up a new window but it's a different window so now you got two of them coming up so what happens here now we'll just go into what we call my D drive which is my secondary drive okay my secondary hard drive and I'll open that Nitwit Collections folder that I just created. And then that way, you can go back and forth between these two folders. And if you say, okay, I want to put in there, uh, there's this file here. And I, let's just say that was a, or let's just use this because it is a folder. Um, this is the folder that I downloaded from Nitwit Collections. I want to put it into that area in my filing cabinet. You grab a hold of it, hold down your left mouse button, and just drag it in there. And there it is it actually copied it right into there. So it's still in your downloads folder, it's still there, but it also put it into here. And so now you have yourself uh, a folder which you can place all of your Nitwit Collections files in. So to give you another example, I will go into, let's open this back up, I'm just gonna go into Mary Fran's drives here, and I will show you. So here's how we have it. So you can see all the different folders we have for you name it. We go into Nitwit Collections. We go into the finished kits. And there are all the kits. So we have over 250 of these. So you can see why we, we need some sort of filing system. And really that's all it is. It's a filing system. 
you figure out most computers, let's talk a little bit about your computer. Obviously for your computers, you will for sure have one hard drive in it because that has your windows on it. It has everything on it. For those of you with external hard drives that are hooked up, that's typically where you save all your stuff to, um, you know, so that because you want to keep it for a long period of time. If you have a second hard drive, which as you can see over on the left here, that's my C drive, which is my main one that holds all my operating system, my windows and everything else. My, I have a secondary hard drive in my computer and that's where I save all this stuff to. That's where we created that network collections folder in. But, uh, sorry, going back into Mary France, as you can see, once you've saved your network collections, so let's just use this and say that was the network collections folder that I created. So every time I download a folder or download a kit from us, here it is. Now you have all of them. They're all alphabetized, so they're easy to find. And when you click into them, let's just go into all this calm here. It has all the, the solids now. Obviously, I have more things in here because we have to keep more things for our website and stuff. But here's the folder you would download, the FQB All Is Calm. And there it is. It comes up with all the stuff in it. This is exactly what you see as well. So it makes it easy when you're, when you're doing that so that you have an organizational system where you know, okay, here's all my network collection stuff that I've downloaded. Maybe you download games. Well, make another folder and call it games. And then you know all your games are in there. So when you're trying to find something, it makes it a lot easier. Now, one other tip is if you're trying to search and you know you've bought lots of kits. Well, here's a whole pile. Let's just use this as, as an example. When you're inside the folder, so let's call this our Knitwood Collections folder, and here's all our kits in here. When you're inside this folder and it shows you all your kits and you're thinking, you know what? I'm looking for, I'm creating something and I want a pink background. You can go up to this search bar in here and you can type in the word pink and press enter and it will come up with everything that you have in that folder which is has pink in it. Now we've always tried to name things with the names like that. We're trying to make things easy for you and also easy for us. So as you can see like because of, we have 250 kits in here you can see this thing just rattling on here right. This is the green search bar is telling you how it's going through and going through and what percentage of, of the stuff it's actually searched through. So I've got pink backgrounds, I've got pink love dots, I've got pinky swear is the kit, I've got an alpha with pink in it, uh, here's hearts, flowers, you name it, anything with pink in it. So that way it makes it really easy as well. This is the reason for making a file system is that you can search just that part of your computer in order to say, hey, I, I'm creating right now. I'm not looking for a game. I don't want to call up the word birds or something because I'm looking for angry birds. And it has to search my entire computer. If you want to find the game angry birds, well, you can just go into your birds folder and away you go. Now, you don't have to have this, your folder saved anywhere specific. You can save it. As you can see in the corner here, I have folders saved on my desktop. I, you can't see my entire desktop, but I, it's not really that cluttered. You can save your Knitwick Collections folder right on your desktop if you want. Then that way it's very easy for you to access, very easy for you to, to know where it is and everything else so it's not buried anywhere. But as I said before, I'll call it up for you and show you again. The whole idea when you're inside of a hard drive, whether that be your external one, whether you have an internal hard drive that you save to, you ha want to create a file system so you can actually get to things and find things that are in here. As you can see, uh, this was uh, a previous house we sold and uh, I've got Adobe Photoshop stuff so that that way I'm looking for Adobe Photoshop stuff if I have extra brushes or uh, files that we've purchased or things like that. I know exactly where to go and find it. It makes it really convenient. Again, go back to the same old adage, it's a filing cabinet. Your computer is a great big filing cabinet. You set it up the way you want. You can create the folders what, with what you want. And even inside of folders, let's see if I can do that. When you go into a folder, you can have more folders that you can create inside there. And just like when, we ha when you download the kits from us, you know that there are, we, you download folders from us. So you, all, you can always have that stuff in here. Now another thing I wanted to just quickly discuss is when you go into your downloads and you download, you get from us a compressed or a zipped file. 
And the reason for that, uh, for those of you who don't know, is it makes it, it makes it very much smaller so it's quicker to download. When you take that file and you put it into your Nitwit Collections folder, once you've uh, extracted that, so now it's a usable folder, you, the, it won't have a zipper on it anymore, it'll look like this, right? You can actually delete that one. It has no use to you anymore. Um, it's no big deal. And then that way it won't clog up your big your folder with a bunch of extra stuff. You'll just have the folders that are usable. And then that way too, it's not confusing when you're opening up your folders and you're thinking, okay, I want to, you know, get this paper or whatever. It, you you always you uh, you are always going into the folder that actually works, basically, right? So you can delete these. These aren't here for anything. So that's a my little short video on how to organize your computer the the best we see fit. Now I'm not saying that I'm 100% right or this is the only way of doing it. There are many ways of doing it. My whole point was is to say to you, go ahead, make yourself that filing cabinet and then that way you'll know where everything is. I hope you found the video interesting. I hope this helps you out a little bit to, to have your stuff a little more organized for yourself so you can find things a little easier. Please let me know if you have any questions. You're welcome to post them below. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel so whenever we put up these new videos, you will have uh, you'll be notified of them so then that way you can tune in. Thanks again and hope you have a good day.